Hey everyone, welcome back. This is Dan from DHTV and today I'm going to be showing you how to use the action button with your iPhone 15 Pro and iPhone 15 Pro Max. As always, if you're looking for more great tips, tricks and tutorials for your iPhone, the full playlist is in the description. Let's get started. All right, so like I said, we've got the iPhone 15 Pro, but this works with the Pro Max as well. It does not work with the standard iPhone 15. This silent switch is the same standard silent switch. It cannot perform actions like the action button can on the iPhone 15 Pros. So if you've already configured your action button when you first set up your phone, this video is also going to show you how to change it, customize it, and things like that. But let's just start with the simple thing here, how to set up the action button. And for that, we're just going to open our settings application. We're going to scroll down to where we see action button. And we're going to tap on that and it's going to bring up the actions that you already have set up. Now for me, I use it as my camera, but by default, it's set to the silent mode. So anytime, if you didn't even set this up and you press on that silent button on the left side, just give it a press and hold. By default, it's going to ring or silence the phone. So right now it's silent. I can turn silent off just like that. And it's the same for all of these options. You're just going to press and hold on that action button on the side of your phone to activate whatever action you have set up. So if you want to keep it as a silent mode, you would have that right here. If you want to change it to one of the other options, you just swipe to the left. The second one is focus, and it just basically sets on focus to silence notifications and filter out distractions, and it's set to do not disturb. If you like that, you can leave it to that. The next one is camera, and this is, like I said, what I was using the action button for. It's very useful, and I'll show you because anytime you're using your phone, you just give it a quick press and hold, and it opens up the camera, and you're that quickly into taking a photo. It's much faster than any other option on your phone to take photos. Now, anytime you see an option below that has arrows, you can see that you can configure things. So, for example, you can choose what it's going to open that particular application in. So right now I have it set to photo, but you can set it to selfie, video, portrait, portrait, selfie. And that way, when you press on the action button, it opens that app or opens that action and in the exact way you want it. For me, it's good on photos. Another popular one, I think, is going to be this flashlight. We always need a flashlight, and when flashlight is set to on, you can just press on that button there, and your flashlight is on faster than ever. I mean, you still, when the phone is locked here, you can still press and then press, but that's two presses, and you have to hold. This one's so much easier. You've got it in your hand. You press it. You've got your light on. So it's very easy. The next one is voice memos. It's just going to basically create a voice memo. So if you need to record something, you can just quickly access that. You have the magnifier. Most people don't know what this is, so I'll just show you. I'll just turn it on here. It's just basically like the camera app, but you can zoom in on things. You have this little zoom. Not many people know about this app. It's not really widely used, but it is available if you want to use it. This one here is shortcuts, and this is where the action button is huge because shortcuts really gives you customization of your iPhone. So again, we have a shortcut here. Let's say choose a shortcut. We can choose any app to open, which is easy. These are simple shortcuts here. So let's say we want to open an app. We can scroll down here and just look through some of the apps that we want to open. Maybe we use something often like messages. So now anytime we press on that action button, It'll just quickly open up that application. That's super fast, super convenient. So definitely if you're looking for more advanced features of the iPhone, look into shortcuts and add it to your action button. The next one here is accessibility. And once again, you can choose the feature you want. So if we tap there, these are all the features. So you can scroll through and a lot of people don't know, but accessibility has a lot of cool features in it that are not just for people who need those specific accessibility features, but they're useful in general. So for example, this voiceover. So for example, let's say we open a web page and we activate our voice control. Voiceover on Safari, Apple, heading level one. Basically, anything we touch or as we scroll through, it's going to read what's on that page. So, for example, new right camera, here, new design, new foria. And Siri is going to read this. Now, if page you scroll up, nine. it's going to continue to read as we go. Learn more about Apple Watch Series 9. Link Apple Watch Series 9, heading level 2. And turn it off. But you can see that there's a lot of potential 
with that as well. Again, you need to do your research on what all of these do and if they're useful for you at the same time. So that's accessibility. The last one is no action. And that's just what it is. It's not going to perform any actions. It basically makes this button useless. I don't know exactly why someone would use this. Maybe if they're finding that the button is activating in their pocket quite a bit, they can do that. But this little action button is so powerful if used to its full capacity. But even still, let's say we just use what Apple has provided us here. Just having it as a silent switch is nice and I use it for my camera. So keep that in mind. This is how you use the action button with the iPhone 15 Pro and 15 Pro Max. Like I said earlier, if you're looking for more great tips, tricks, and tutorials like this one right here, there's a full playlist to the iPhone 15 and 15 Pro tutorial series so you can learn how to use your iPhone to its full capacity. If you ran into any trouble, feel free to ask in the comments. I'm happy to help you out and I try to respond to every comment that comes my way. Also, don't forget to hit that like button. It helps out the video, helps more people see it. Click the subscribe and bell notification box so you're notified when I post new videos and I'll see you in the next one.